my house shall be a house of prayer. My dear brothers and sisters, in St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 19, verse 46, we come across a very, very relevant as well as a message which is applicable in many, many churches. My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it into a den of robbers. My dear brothers and sisters, in the history of the Catholic Church, as well as in the Jewish tradition, Israel used to be considered as a holy nation, and Jerusalem is the holy city. And in the holy city, there used to be the most important temple. And the people had a very deep belief that God was dwelling in the main temple in Jerusalem. And with faith, with confidence, with conviction, and with trust, the people would travel and spend the time in the temple of God. And so too, every time we go and meet God in the churches, we must make it, transform it into a place of worship. It's a place where we can pray to God. And there are four different ways that we can pray. The first way that we can pray is through adoration. Whenever we are in the church, in the temple of God, we open up our hearts in praising and worshiping God. God who has done wonderful things, marvelous things for each and every one of us. And the second way of praying is contrition. To feel sorry for the sins that we have committed knowingly or unknowingly, for the many mistakes that we have done, the ways that we have gone against God and against one another. Now is the time as we spend before God, we feel, we manifest our sorrow, our contrite of heart. And the third way of praying to God is to thank God for the many, many ways the Lord had been with us the ways the Lord has been guiding us, the Lord has been supporting us, the Lord has been strengthening us, the Lord has been blessing us. For everything, the Lord had been with us and for doing many things for us and for the many blessings the Lord has given to us, we thank the Lord. And the fourth way of praying to God is presenting our petitions to the Lord. And as we open up our hearts and present our needs, our wants, in the form of prayer, the Lord would indeed answer our prayers. And the four different types of prayer, simply said as acts, A-C-T-S. A stands for adoration. C stands for contrition. T stands for thanksgiving and yes stands for supplication or intercessions or petitions. Let us pray to God that the Lord may help each and every one of us to open up our hearts in prayer and to spend time before God in prayer. Amen.